New at 4 o'clock, AT&T and Verizon announced they're postponing 5G rollouts near airports after concerns were raised again. The service could interfere with aircraft transmissions. The airline pilot union said its members would refuse to fly because it's unsafe. ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefty is live at Lindbergh Field with what a local pilot says about this technology. Vanessa. Kimberly, billions of dollars are at stake here, and this is a battle that has brewing, brewing for many years. Pilots say this service shouldn't be anywhere near airports, and officials here at Lindbergh Field say they are watching all developments on this. An industry badly crippled by the pandemic is now facing a potential new crisis. A showdown brewing between AT&T and Verizon and every major airline, including Delta, American, United, and Southwest. The concern, the company's nationwide efforts to expand 5G networks could interfere with aircraft systems, causing delays, cancellations and disruptions. The Airline Pilots Union is asking the new 5G be barred within two miles of airport runways, saying the nation's commerce will grind to a halt if the new service is implemented. This is unsafe. The manufacturers have said so, our airlines are saying so, the FAA is saying so, and so are pilot unions. AT&T and Verizon plan to activate their new 5G wireless service Wednesday after two previous delays. The companies say their equipment is safe with planes and is used safely in many other countries. La Jolla-based pilot Captain Joe Graham flew in our Air Force and commercially for five decades. It's a big safety issue. It's a big operational issue. You know, you get an airplane that's 600,000 pounds like this with 300 people, you don't want to have something like that go wrong. So. The Airline Pilots Association and the other unions are on the right side of this. Graham says pilots worry the service could interfere with radio altimeters, which tell pilots their distance between the ground and help them land in low visibility. A spokesperson at Lindbergh Field saying the telecommunications companies operating at San Diego International have not implemented 5G. The companies have agreed to work with airlines to make sure operations are not affected. The plan grounded for now. So the fight for now continues. We did reach out to the FAA, Verizon and AT&T, but have not yet heard back. Reporting live at Lindbergh Field, Vanessa Van Hefti, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Vanessa.